Let's take a look at this problem. Here we have two sequences, x and y. The starting terms of the two sequences, x0 and y0, are both 7. For each positive integer n, xn equals 4xn minus 1 plus 3yn minus 1, and yn equals 3yn minus 1 plus 2xn minus 1. Find the limit of xn over yn as n tends to infinity. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This problem looks hard, but we can solve it with very simple tricks. In fact, for these two equations, if we add them, then we have xn plus yn at the left, which equals 6xn minus 1 plus 6yn minus 1. And so, if we consider another sequence instead, which is adding the terms of x and y, so that xn plus yn is equal to 6 times the previous term in the sequence x plus y. And from this we can say that actually it's kind of recursion. For this, we can write this as 6 to the power n times x0 plus y0. And because both x0 and y0 are 7, so that means the sum of xn and yn is equal to 14 times 6 to the power of n. Now we can put this back into the two equations and get some relations on x and y. So from this we can say xn minus 1 plus yn minus 1 is equal to 14 times 6 to the power n minus 1. And then going back to the first equation, we have xn equals this. Now I'm going to split this term. 4xn minus 1 into 3xn minus 1 plus xn minus 1. After splitting, I have the same coefficient for the x term and the y term. And so we have xn minus 1 plus 3 times 14 times 6 to the power n minus 1. So that means if we only focus on the sequence x now, each term subtracted by its previous term will be equal to 7 times 6 to the power n. We can do similar things on the sequence y. Recalling the equation that we are given on yn, using a similar argument, I can split the first term, 3yn minus 1, into yn minus 1 plus 2yn minus 1, and we have similar results. And so, therefore, we can say that yn minus yn minus 1 is equal to 14 over 3 times 6 to the power n. So now we have two equations with each only in terms of terms on sequence x and y separately. For the sequence x, we can write this as xn minus xn minus 1 plus xn minus 1 minus xn minus 2. We can do one more row like this. So now you're able to see the pattern and so on. And then the last term 
of similar form should be x1 minus x0 and of course we need to add x0 at the end. Then for each row say this it can be replaced by 7 times 6 to the power n and similar things for the other rows plus 7 times 6 to the power n minus 1 7 times 6 to the power n minus 2 all the way down to 7 times 6 and finally plus x0 which is plus 7 so all the terms has a common factor 7 so I can take that out and I have this geometric series and we can use the formula for the geometric sum and simplifying we have this result 7 over 5 times 6 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 or we can rewrite that as 42 times 6 to the power n minus 7 all divided by 5 and that is xn in general. Now we can do similar things on the sequence y using this relation. Using a similar argument, again I can split yn into the sum of these expressions. And for each row, Is of the form 14 over 3 times 6 to the power n. And the last term of this form should be 14 over 3 times 6, and then y0 is again 7. So we can split this 7 into 14 over 3 plus 7 over 3 so that well, common factors of 14 over 3, and we can take that out so that the power series will be similar to that before, starting from the nth power all the way down to the 0th power, which is 1. And we have 7 over 3 at the end as an extra term. So with a similar trick, I can write this as 6 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 over 5. And this product added by 7 over 3. So we have 14 over 15 times 6 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 plus 7 over 3. And we have 28 over 5 times 6 to the power n minus 14 over 15 plus 7 over 3. Simplifying with 28 times 6 to the power n plus 7 all divided by 5. So summing up, we have forty-two times six to the power n. minus 7 all divided by 5, this is xn, and this fraction divided by 28 times 6 to the power n plus 7 all divided by 5, this is yn. So I can rewrite the fraction as just removing the over 5s on both numerator and denominator with something like this, and we can see that the limit of this fraction as n goes to infinity will be equal to 42 over 28 because the 6 to the power n term 
dominates both entries. And so our final answer is 3 over 2. Please feel free to share your ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.